A newly discovered cave in British Columbia could be the largest in Canada. The 100-meter-long and 60-meter-wide cave is about as deep as a soccer field. It was spotted by a helicopter during a caribou census last March in a remote part of Wells Gray Provincial Park. Until recently, that is. I want to bring in Catherine Hickson. She's a geologist who first went into the cave in September, one of the lucky few. Uh, good to have you on the program today. Thank you very much. Tell me a bit about why this is a very significant discovery. Oh, you know, I think it's actually a very significant day. If we think about our extraterrestrial, what's happening above the Earth and right? now into the Earth. I mean, this is, this is a day about the Earth, and it's incredible, interesting things that are still waiting to be discovered. So this is a very large cave. It, um, it, it's in a very remote part of British Columbia in Wells Gray Provincial Park. So it's just a very cool thing. I mean, caves are relatively rare, or actually very rare. So to find a cave like this in this day and age um, just tells you there's more to be discovered yet. So, Catherine, here's the big question everyone wants to know. What's inside? When you went in there, what did you see? <laughs> well, I did not actually descend into the cave. Uh, my colleague Lee Hollis did so. On behalf of all of us, so we, there was a group of us. John Pollock was the other member and Todd Houghton from BC Parks and Ken Lancorn, who was the helicopter pilot. So we're all peering in and watching Lee des descend. Wow. And it was amazing because you can imagine being on the, the edge of an abyss. I mean, we're looking down, we see all this water pouring into the cave, we see snow below and this mist that's roiling and broiling and, and basically a void at the bottom that we cannot see beyond. Wow. So will they send down a camera, a probe? What happens next? <laughs> well, yes, all, potentially all of the above. I mean, the cave itself is extremely technically challenging because it is vertical, mm. of essentially 100 meters of, of vertical rock at the beginning and um, uh, all of this water pouring into it. So it's going to take some time and some planning before we really can figure out exactly what is the best way to tackle uh, tackle the cave. Sure. Catherine, I wish we had more time, but we've uh, eaten up a lot of it with our space exploration today and now our subterranean exploration. But thank you for yours. <laughs> Appreciate it. You're most welcome. Okay. Geologist Catherine Hickson joining me from Vancouver. And just to note, the exact location is uh, still being kept a secret uh, just to protect the integrity of the cave at this time.